Hi. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thank you very much to Dr. Jean Latos for inviting me to make this uh, brief video for you today. Uh, my name is Osa Corneliusson and I work at the Embassy of Sweden as a public diplomacy officer. Um, I am what you call a locally employed person um, and or staff and I joined the embassy in June this year. Um, at the Swedish embassy we are more locally employed uh, staff than we are posted staff uh, and it has been like that for several years. Uh, in this brief video I'll uh, tell you a little bit about what I do here at the embassy as a public diplomacy officer. So um, I work, firstly I work a lot with promoting Sweden uh, in general um, and especially on, on promoting Sweden as a study destination. Um, and in that work I am targeting Canadian youth. So Canadian youth who are uh, studying at university level and who might be interested in doing either an exchange semester or uh, their master or, or undergraduate degree uh, in Sweden. So for example, in this work, I participate in uh, virtual fairs where I represent all Swedish uh, universities um, to ask, answer questions that students might have about studying in Sweden. Um, and also, for example, last week I welcomed a group of students from Carlton University who met with our posted staff, uh, the ambassador and our other diplomats, and they just had questions in general about um, Sweden's foreign policy priorities, but also life uh, as a diplomat. Uh, I manage all of our social media accounts, and uh, now I do this uh, in collaboration with my colleagues, and I get a lot of input. We most uh, often we have weekly meetings where we discuss the priorities for the week. Um, is there something uh, special that is happening, for example? Um, uh, how can we tie that? How can we tie the things that are happening in Sweden to, a, to the local context here in Canada? Um, and so we try to be creative around that. Uh, now, the social media work involves a lot of work also on um, graphical design. So. Um, since I started here, I, for example, learned in design and I work a lot with Canva and I, f I find those tools to be really helpful. Um, and besides that, I plan, I organize and, and I evaluate uh, events that we do. Um, when we organize events, I'm, it's also very, I'm also very hands-on. So, uh, for example, putting up tent, promotion tents, um, making sure we have everything we need, making sure, you know, if Ikea wants to donate some candy to us, making sure that that is picked up, for example, um, things like that. Um, and then also responding to questions uh, from the public. So sometimes people email me about questions about um, very specific questions about, about systems in Sweden, how things work, and so I respond to them. Uh, and since my role involves digital diplomacy, um, I work a lot with Sweden's nation branding and trying to make um, Sweden um, appealing to, uh, to Canadians uh, and trying to make Canadians engage uh, with Sweden and uh, Swedish priorities. And it's interesting because already in 2013, uh, Sweden's at the time foreign minister made it mandatory for Swedish embassies to have a social media presence. Uh, and at the time it was Facebook and Twitter. Uh, now a lot of Sweden's uh, embassies are, are uh, you know, present on other platforms as well. Uh, but those were the two main platforms that we were first uh, had a presence on. And um, the working with nation branding and, you know, as an embassy, being on social media is, is very interesting and constantly evolving and changing. Um, and, and the biggest change that has been is that, you know, and, and most embassies moved from a one-way communication to a two-way communication and sort of being more engaged in a conversation. Um, and to support me in, in my work with uh, digital uh, uh, diplomacy and, and communication online, 
and our social media, um, I received support from the Foreign Ministry of Affairs in Sweden. Um, and so they send me weekly um, letters, um, updates in a letter where they sort of outline this is happening in Sweden this week or uh, the coming week and this is happening on the world arena. Um, we are, for example, this week Sweden has, uh, or UN Women is spotlighting Sweden's uh, support on Twitter so they've asked us you can pick up this if you want to and they suggested some messaging and sometimes there's also images that come with these emails uh, which is super helpful because that makes my job easier and that I don't have to spend time you know creating my own graphical images for example I receive that support right away uh, now when they send these letters from the foreign minister ministry um it is not i'm not obliged to put all of that into my social media messaging for the coming week i of course filter out what is what is important for what, what the work that we do and what is important for a canadian and relevant to a canadian audience um and of course if we do events um as, as an embassy i i make sure to highlight that out on our uh, social media accounts as well uh, now another interesting thing and super helpful thing that I have uh, access to is the Swedish Institute uh, who also works with promoting uh, Sweden, Sweden's image, nation branding um, and they uh, work a lot with developing toolkits so it's very easy for me to go on their website and or you know call up someone at their office in Stockholm and say hey I want to do a project here on forestry for example that we focus a lot on and then they they um, can say okay hey we have some toolkits on this topic you can access them here and a toolkit means that they can be an exhibition it can be a social media package special package for example um, image banks that they have uh, so so it's super helpful um, and it's uh, fun working with, with promoting Sweden in Canada because we share a lot of fundamental values and also Sweden and Canada have a very successful uh, relationship. Um, lastly, uh, I also wanted to say that uh, here at the embassy we have a very strong Swedish work culture and that means that we collaborate a lot. It's, it's, it's a big focus on collaboration. So. Uh, in my role, I am constantly in discussion with the other posted staff here and the other locally employed about, you know, uh, how can we do this better? Anyone have any ideas for this the Christmas event that is coming up, for example? Uh, and I work also very closely with my Nordic colleagues uh, at, the, at the other Nordic embassies here in Ottawa. And we, um, in addition to that, we also have uh, a strong relationship with the European Union, of course, as, a, as an EU member state. Uh, and this month we are organizing, or the EU and, and Canadian Film Institute are organizing the European Union Film Festival that we are very involved with. Um, yeah, so that was all for me. Uh, I am, if you have any further questions about my role or what I do, I am uh, available on LinkedIn. And it's also easy to find my contact information on our website. You can just Google Embassy of Sweden in Ottawa. Uh, thanks again, Dr. Eugene Matos, and uh, good luck with the course. Thank you.